Hang on. There we go. We've got a problem with the Q, the Q button, play button, blah, blah. So I'm going to show you lot how to change it and how to get it sorted out so your Q and play button works again. All right, let's watch. Right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Let's go. Okay. Here we are. So let's go. Let's make it start. Screw it, see how we get on. Never done one of these before. Done the CDJs many times, but not these, so a bit of learning curve. sure that his feet are okay to stay on so now let's see what he's trying to lift up there so if you look here I'll try and show you so if you look here you can see there's two um, two little arrows here and here these two are making it come out more look lift up and then obviously we've got another two well another one there according to this it's just that one i'm going to give that a go let's see how we get on with that one all right let's have a look that one. now i need to check see how that bit's coming off i'll take that off for now right so what I thought was going to be the case. Alright, so, so far looking at these buttons along here. These one, two, three, four there. I'm going to take them out. Do it. Use your screwdriver so you don't scratch it. I'm going to go, I'm just underneath the lip of the, of the uh, volume knob. Take that off. No, so that's where it was. I was right. Okay. We've had to remove the two knobs here, and you've seen the rest. Right, let's have a look now. Okay. Okay. So that is quite simple. Um, basically, that's as simple as it can be. Simple, simples. And I'm going to pull that one off. Um, let's just there but it's going to be a lot easier to um, just pull this ribbon out hopefully you can see we've got this one here this little bit here um can only go back one way just pull it out that's that done rest it down right so i'm going to pull this one out next that's there that's only going to, it's only going to go back one way loosen that off Right, loosen that off, take that off. Right, now we're free and easy away from the main the main bit. Right, so this bit we don't need to do nothing with. And here we are. 
quite a simple. So rather than take all the knobs off, I've used a bit of foam. Obviously, to put this on, the be Q button. Oh, it's just here. Oh, it's place if I can see it from here. Look, one, two. Right, so. Um, just going to try and keep this as simple as possible, he says. You know, just pushing it off. Right, so, there's the screw holes. For this side. I'm just going to quickly whip these out. They've got little arrows on the circuit board. Um, which I can show you. Just here, there's like little arrows here. That's good. So that's quite simple. And you can stay out of the way for a minute. So that's not in my way now. There's a screw underneath, so it's good if I did move that. Right. And now where are we at? Okay. Okay, so we've got a problem with the bolt not coming off because of this little bugger here. So again, I'm gonna have to use my bit like that so you can see. It's this one here, which is a vinyl speed adjustment knob. So I'm just going to give that a little, take that off, because it's all part of the circuit board. So you just take that knob off in, in respect to getting that out. Right, so here we go. Try again. This is stopping on now. And it goes up to there, it goes up to there, and then it feels like there's something here maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, see, I'm getting it, they're all different, so, right, where's that, let's have a look, so we need to get rid of the pitch slide up, control knob, again, once we get it moving a little bit, then we can pull that off, there's your pitch slider, and that, now, hopefully, where's that pulling on that one, let me just pull that one out, Go. All right, so that's all cool. And as you can see, these two switches are here. So your Q, I don't know if you can see or not. I'll right, move that to there. So there's your, your pause and play button, basically, and there's your Q button. Just there and there, that's all they are. But obviously these ones here are the ones that get the most use. Um, and I think Justin said that obviously he's got a problem with one of the Q buttons. I think it is this side, but regardless of that, we've got it, we got it in bits. They're about five pound each switch here and here. So we're looking at 20 quid to replace. You might as well do all four switches while you're here. It makes total sense just to do it. Otherwise you've got to strip it all out again. And anyway, if you know one's playing up, the chances are it ain't going to be long for the other to start playing up and not working as well. So I'm going to replace both and now on the other side as well. So keep watching. We'll give it a little clean in there. We can get it in there. Yep. All right. That's better. Look at that, look. There's a blue bits there, so I can then just pull this out. And then what I'm going to do is put this to one side for a minute. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that feel good. That feel nice. That do. That feel really good. Right, so I'm going to use this clip to go on that button. Like that. You just, no. Just come up a little bit. Right, so I've got, there's a button here. And I'm just going to use this stool clip like that so I've got something to be pulling on it. All right, so we're at 251 on the temperature. Here we are. It's got to be that one.
Here's the one. Right, there's number two. Right, easy as that. So, let's have a little recap. So what we've got here now is literally, there's the old switch, it was there, now gone. This switch here, now gone. I'm gonna put two new switches in. Right, now I've just gotta find them. I know I've got them, I've gotta find them. Better ones. New switches. Just the same as the ones taken off, look. The old one, new one. And they are, again, pioneers. It's not worth getting cheaper ones. They're not that expensive anyway. You've just gotta cut them down after, you can see how long they are. That long, same, same switch. All right, let's get those put in. So, hopefully we're clear of solder. Let's have a look. That one is, but that one ain't. And again, that one is, but that one ain't. So, we've got them over the holes on the circuit board. Let's have a look. See what we're getting on. Okay, I see what's going on here. Right, so a bit of perseverance, and then we'll end up getting it through like that. So there, there it is, through the bolt. There's the uh, switch. There's the bolt. There we go. There it is. So now we've got that up. We've got the two holes out there. All I want to do now is literally put something underneath to push, put some pressure on the button to keep the button up. Solid. Check in. Yep. Solid. Yep, it's good as no. Right, lovely old job. Next one. So the next one. Right, should be all good. Yeah, feels good. So now as you can see, we're just left with these long bits. Yeah, well you've got two ways of doing it. You can wiggle it, and eventually they'll snap off, like so. See, snapped off, so they're now flush with the bolt. This is probably easy, or you could just use some snips, but this works just as well, so. I'll just give them a little wiggle, weaken the steel in it. There we go. Right, that one's done. All we've got to do now is remember how it went back together. Let's go for it. That's all gone back in, that's back in there, that's all back in there, that goes to the main bit, all good. It's always better to do the screws by hand when you're doing it back up. Cool, next one. All right, number two. Let's 
open that one. So down, give it a little jiggle. Voila, let's have a look. Cool. Ah, the old chop. Six inch clip, let's do it. <laughs> 